replicas, and collectibles from your favorite pop culture films. What's inside the band Pop Culture Box for March 2019? Today we're going to be unboxing, like I said, the BAM Pop Culture Box, which I believe to be for March 2019. As alluded at the beginning of this review, BAM Pop Culture or BAM Horror every single month delivers autographs, collectibles, and most importantly, replicas from your favorite films and television. Without further ado, because I'm certainly excited, I always look forward to getting the BAM Pop Culture Boxes and Horror Boxes, and I know I shouldn't be waving my knife, in the mail. I'm going to quickly open these up and see what we got inside. Now, if you are interested in subscribing to the BAM Pop Culture or Horror, I'll put the links down below. We're going to go ahead and open this up, immediately treated to a stubborn hinge, but immediately treated to that on top of that, we've got ourselves some black packing paper. And last time I checked, there is no film or television of recent memory that has black paper. So I don't think these are replicas of anything. As I quickly throw that away, somebody's going to say, oh, wait, hold a second. That was a replica. No, it really isn't. You're just pulling one over on me. Uh, first and foremost, we got ourselves UV eye protection. Uh, very neon colored glasses. I don't know what color you would describe this as. I would probably say that this is a highlighter yellow. You have a highlighter primarily of this of a yellow. It's usually this color right here. Highlighter yellow. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to run with that. I'm checking with the producer. Producer's good with that as well. We're going to run with highlighter yellow. It's also highlighter usually green and pink, I believe are the defaulted three packs. And then of course you can add on to that the uh what are the other colors? There's blue. There's also blue as well. I think blue is actually part of the defaulted pack. I'm getting ahead of myself talking about blasted highlighters. But uh, a pair of sunglasses. I'm sure there's a connection to something pop culture related. We'll find out soon enough. Inside as well, we got ourselves a, uh, a really neat looking pin. A collectible enamel pin to be exact. It looks like Optimus Prime wearing a headband. Wearing a headband. Actually, the face kind of up here reminds me of Soundwave. What's going on in the back? This is Retro Iconic, a design made by Nick Kakoza, fan art collection, and down below is that website once again, www.thebambox.com. Mark that down if you want to get one of these boxes for yourself for next month. So enamel pin, rather interesting looking enamel pin. Looks like, again, a cross between Optimus Prime, Movie Prime, Soundwave a little bit, maybe similar to enough sunglasses here. And, uh, of course, a bandana, which is very, very trademark 80s, especially in the pink color. One of the other th notable things about Bambox that make it stand out from the crowd is the fact that you also get yourself autographs. Autographs of notable actors, uh, people that work behind the scenes, even directors. Let's see what we've got right here. We've got ourselves, oh, speaking of retro, Garbage Pail Kids. Oh, I wish I still kept a lot of my Garbage Pail Kids cards that I collected. That's a lot of C's when I was younger. I believe this is Adam Bomb. It's been autographed and noted down below out of possible 2,500. Let's have a look on the back. The Bam Pop Culture Box Fan Art Collection Art Print Boom and Inked has been hand-signed by artist David Lazenez for the Bam Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. I know I probably botched the guy's last name. I'm so sorry for that. Uh, that's pretty neat because that certainly reminds me of collecting Garbage Pail Kids as a kid. And I uh, certainly wish I still had had those. We also have something from Stand By Me. Now, who is this? It possibly is maybe this gentleman's signature right here. Unless it's Kiefer Sutherland, but you would think that the autograph would be over here. It's over on this side. Let's flip it around. On the back, it says this photograph has been hand signed by Bradley Craig. Bradley Gregg, who played Eyeball Chambers in Stand By Me. It was signed during a private signing with the band box and is guaranteed to be authentic. He actually think I think he's been in something else as well. And of course, me being the older guy that I am, I draw an absolute blank. Somebody let me know down below. Also inside we got uh, 11, best stored upside down, 11 home style waffles, fortified with four four vitamins and iron. Now, obviously this is a fold together. We've got something on the back, cut out and keep 11's drawing. That's kind of neat. 
Now we can make this. I'm pretty good at making boxes, I'd like to think. I shouldn't have put so much pressure on myself by being able to protest that because now everybody is going to wait for me to see if I can do this. Now, it looks like there's also some double-sided tape. We can go ahead and quickly remove that. Quickly removing that. There we go. And then that's going to stick just like that. Just like that. Sorry, you didn't see that. Just like that, I, I was saying. And I guess we do the exact same thing on the other side. We peel off the super difficult to get to tape. Just peel that off like so, like so, like, there we go, like so. Peel that off. You're right now only looking at the top, kind of middle area of the box. You just get that stuck together. Now the only problem is the tape. There's not enough kind of affixing the tape. I got one end down pretty good. This end, I just probably have to apply a little bit more pressure, get the tape to do its thing. Stay in place tape. The flap is sort of preventing. Might even have to add some more tape to that. But that's what we got. The 11, 11 home style waffles. It's pretty cool, like a little recreation. It's not obviously the real Eggo waffles, but a nice little kind of fun nod to Stranger Things, which uh, as far as I know, season three is coming out in, J in uh, July. So I'm looking forward to that. Put that right off to the side. And then we've got the reveal card here. Now this was actually the BAM pop culture for February, 2019. I was way off. I said, well, not way off, I guess that's not fair. I said March, that's, that's like one month. Uh, we've got the Bambox exclusive retro comic fan art pins by Nick Kakoza. There's three different various ones to go with. Prince Adam or He-Man, Optimus Prime, and Alf. Alf would have been fun to get as well. Uh, the He-Man and the Alf were a little bit more rarer. Uh, they also include throwback neon sunglasses. I won't ever forget my first pair of 80s neon Wayfair sunglasses. They were a staple in fashion in the 80s, so we had to bring them back for the 80s Volume 2 box, Assorted Colors. Also inside was the BAM Box exclusive Boom and Inked fan art collection art prints by David, artist David Lazenitz. I think I said that right this time. Custom 11 Waffle Box by Paul Elder Designs. This custom piece from one of your favorite artists, uh, one of your favorite shows, gets the 80s uh, gets in the 80s was done by Paul Elder Designs. The box folds up to create a display piece that everyone will be talking about. I know I certainly will be talking about it. Just I have to make sure I don't leave that anywhere where normal waffles are because somebody is going to be probably very anxious to rip that open. No way, no way, no way. Rip that open and steal. There's going to be no waffles inside. You're just going to destroy the box. Don't. No way, Jose. Uh, we also got ourselves included the band box signing with Bradley Gregg of Eyeball Chambers, who played Eyeball Chambers from Stand By Me. And down below, you can also win this canvas sketched and signed by Kevin Eastman, a picture of Shredder. Head over to the community page to enter the contest at www, there's the address right there, www.thebandbox.com forward slash community. Enter today. Win that. Send it my way. Okay, you don't have to send it my way. No way, Jose. I think No Way Jose is something that you don't say too much anymore. Anyways, other than wrestling, because I guess there's a wrestler, No Way Jose, but his career is dead anyways. Today we were having a look, rambling on, as we always seem to do. We were looking at the BAM Box Pop Culture Box for February 2019. If you are interested in subscribing to the BAM Box, it's a simple uh, case of heading over to www.thebambox.com forward slash community. And speaking of subscribing, here's a shameless plug for this channel. If you haven't done so already and want to do so already, hit that little subscribe button that's just below this video as certainly more videos like this will be coming soon. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.